Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How's everybody doing? I am back with another episode on the Hermitcraft FTB server. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I literally just signed on and noticed that we had a gift from Hypno. I don't know what it is. Um, gift from Hypno. Let's break the sign first because you never know. It could be Hypno and he could be trying to pull some tomfoolery. Okay, not a trap chest. So he gave me a bedrock sword with... Uh, Sharpness 5 and loot or is that 5? Yeah, that's 5. Sharpness 5, looting 5. That's a pretty darn good sword. Thank you, Hypno, for the awesome present, my friend. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to store this in here because, well, I'll lose it otherwise because I'm a nub suck. So, last time we worked on getting the quarry set up and everything and blah, 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 blah and all, you know, all that good stuff. Um, Okay, I just wanted to check those guys really fast. Um, So, right now... As we've been running this thing, we've been pretty much running this non-stop. And we've only got 300k gold. Why is gold so hard to come by? Good lord. Uh, we have been running our monster spawners, so let's see what we have in the way of gold in the system. We have 66k gold essence, we have 44k gold nuggets, and we have 601 nether gold ore. Uh, which is a pretty decent stockpile of gold. Um, I'm gonna burn through these two things really quickly, and, um, one thing I think I want to do is, let's go down real fast. Um, okay, as you can, okay, so this is empty, okay. I was gonna say, if that was full, then we should probably go ahead and start, um, working on this to make this a backup tank in the storage room, but, uh, we're fine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get through those two things really quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have processed all of that gold stuff that we had. We gained 7k right off the bat. Uh, we're at 307 now. Um, but we still have about 10,000 ore to go through. Uh, so that's gonna add 20k to it. Uh, so we're at 327k gold. And that's not good enough. That's not good enough whatsoever. So, um, I know that there is a couple different machines for auto-crafting, one of them being a cyclic assembler. I'm going to craft this thing real fast. I've never used it before, and I want to see how it works. Because I has an idea. This is crafted. I should have everything needed to craft that. Just that in there. Let's see if it'll craft. What are we missing? Okay, so we have the way it's set up. We're missing, um, we're missing the gears, copper, and then let's grab a tin gear while we're at it. Thank you. Okay, and let's grab that pattern. We'll edit this real fast. Put that back in there. There we go. That should fix that. Let's go ahead and craft. I'm not sure how fast these things are. That's why. Um, there we go. Good deal. So I'm assuming this thing takes power, obviously. So you give it a pattern and put it in here and it crafts the pattern. Um, schematic. So what we want to do is we want to take one gold ingot and four mimicite. Just like that. That's going to dupe our pattern. Um, oh, it didn't. Maybe it needs power. Um, Redstone energy conduit. I'm gonna break this. Good deal. Okay, so now this thing has power. So will it not let me do that then? Like I said, I've never used this before. And just oh no, it didn't even race at that time. It did that time though. Okay, I'm going to look into this a bit more, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so after a quick little bit of research, should be able to use paper and lapis to make a pattern, 
Um, and then I'm assuming I put that right there. That. That, 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 that. Good deal. So now that's going to make gold. Okay, so now we need to import these items into the system. And it looks, does it take water? It looks like it does take water. Um, okay, we're going to test this out anyways. Uh, export bus, precision. And we're going to need an import bus. Okay, and we're going to need some cable. Good deal. Good deal. Wrenchy, mm. where are you? Okay. We're just going to go right in here, I think. Oh, we can't go right there. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to connect it to that front face there. What can we connect to? I guess we can connect to that interface right there. Let me out, man! And go down. Oh, poo. Okay, let's not shoot explosives into the important part of our base. There we go. And we want to move stacks at a time. And we'll put gold, Mimikite. It's just filling it up with gold, though. Okay, I'm going to remove both of these. <clears throat> Let's put this in and this in. Oh, wow. That was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. But how do we get it in there evenly is the question. Um, I guess we could uh, do it like this. Oh, that thing is so slow. I haven't used this thing ever. Go here. Rotate. Uh, cable. And then... Stacks at a time. Maybe we don't do stacks at a time. Maybe that's what's killing us. Let me go grab some more Mimic. Ted Mimic. We gotta be quick about this. I just want both of them to go in there at the same time, that's all. Okay, and then we need to output as well. Right here will do. So as long as they keep refilling those spots... Seems like it's working pretty good to me. Okay, let's look at our gold. Gold's going up pretty quick. Let's look at our mimic. Going down pretty quick. <laughs> but it's all good because that's what this thing is for. We will make lots and lots of gold. Okay, um, I guess all of this is okay. I do have an idea to kind of... Oh, I'm hitting the mic like a hundred times in a row. I guess it's like running smoothly now. So we could probably just leave this here. It's making tons of gold though. Um, it's already went up, what, 2k? Gold. That thing is flying. So as long as we can, can supply this thing with Mimic Ore, then we're okay. Uh, and like I said, we have a ton of it. Uh, Mimic... And when that runs out, we'll just process through this again. No big deal. And plus we have the Nether Mimic. What, what can you do with Nether Mimic or uses? Uh, probably nothing. Oh yeah, it's got to be Fortune. No big deal. 
we can definitely put that back into the system. Finally, we've got some gold production going on. Awesome. Okay, guys. So, um, we're going to go ahead and move on. Um, I've thought of an idea for our storage tanks, and we're going to do that now. Okay, so we have um, mob juice here. Uh, one thing I want to do real fast is I want to go shut off our uh, nugget spawner. If I can freaking walk straight. Um... Because I want that tank to overflow. Um, let's see. So we'll let that run for a while. Uh, and I'll just take that out. So what we'll do is we'll set this up to where when uh, this bottom tank overflows or when it gets full, it'll fill into the other mob tank. Um, so if we look at our Tesseracts... Um, do 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 Tesseract. We have a couple different ones here. We have uh, UU Matter outputs. Uh, we've got XP. Um, I'm trying to think about which one it is that's going into those tanks, though. Um, because if we can just put it on that frequency, then it'll save us the trouble of making some sort of fancy system to do the work for us. Um, wow, I really just did a complete U-turn, didn't I? Okay, so that's filling it up. I don't think I have a way to look at the top of this, though. Um, I think we're just gonna have to go and dig a hole. Um, let's see here. I'll just go up right here. I'll be fine. Wow, that thing is super slow. Hypnoplast make me a, a tool. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't reach it from here. There we go. So it looks like it's inputting liquid items and energy into the tank. Okay. Good to know. So if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure how this dictates what gets first priority. But if we just go set the test rack, um, well, I guess we'd have to get up there first. I don't even know how to get around my own base, man. Hmm. Wrong way. <laughs> Jevin going the wrong way in his own base. Good G. Good G. I can't talk today, man. GG. Okay, so we'll go this way. So we are looking for this one. XP. No, we want this one. Okay, so this one doesn't have a Tesseract on it. This was turning XP into that. And I think we're just going to move all of this. Because I would like for this tank to get full. Uh, uh, eventually, I would like for all of these tanks to be full. Even the UU Matter. Okay, uh, so here. Sending. We want to... Block items, receive only, block energy. Okay, so this is filling up with mob essence now. Deal. Um, my only thing is, is it's still going to work when... Is it going to fill up our big tank, you know? Because, like, I, I still want this one to fill up. That is an e everlasting glitch I've had so far um, with that filling up like that. I wonder if I just get in there and break it, if it'll stop it. It's kind of annoying. It's been doing that for as long as I can remember. There we go. And it's... Okay, so is it actually putting in? No, it's stealing from it. Okay, then. What is the bottom one doing? Oh, it's set to the same thing. Okay, let's go ahead and make a new frequency. We're going to do frequency... Let's do 15. And this is going to be... Uh, spawner juice. This will separate the two. Or, let's say, or not add it. Good deal. Okay. 
sending fluid. So let's go upstairs to the Tesseract. And change this one to Spawner Juice, receive, and we're going to be blocking items, receive only. And uh, we want to receive energy. I don't think this thing's going to get power now, though, because that was giving it power, energy, output, and everything. It's not running right now, and this is at full power. Let's give it a shot real fast. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not getting power. Okay, uh, so we'll have to fix that. Um... Which that can be fixed. Uh, we'll just grab another Tesseract. Good thing we have so many of these things. I know this is a little like roundabout way of doing it, but in the end, it'll save us time. So we're gonna put this. Um, let's see. I guess we'll put it right here. And we want. This to be uh, user only. There we go. Block, block, receiving energy. Nice and full, and it's now still spawning. Yeah. Good deal. Okay, so that'll keep spawning. I do want to turn this off for a while, though, because I want a lot of energy to, or mob juice to uh, pop up. Let me use this. Eh, it'll be fine. Okay, so now let's go check on our tank in the bottom down here. So what are we doing here, guys? Okay, so uh, since our spawner is not running, it looks like it's splitting the, the mob essence off evenly. Uh, we've got 13k in there. And let's go check on the tank. We should be getting a little bit more in that one at least now. And 153,000 in here. Okay, so it's definitely working. Um, and now I was, I've always been wanting to fill these last two tanks, but I can never think of anything to actually put in there because, well, we've already got lava and, you know, all of this stuff already going. I'm considering putting, um, let's see, thermal, these two. Pyrotheum and Cryrotheum. Uh, nether Sulfur. It would be Sulfur, Blaze Powder, Redstone, and Coal. And then Blizz Powder. I would like for them to be full, but uh, I guess you can make Blizz Powder, can't you? Um, I know it's a huge waste of material because we don't ever use it, but it'll fill up our tank, so don't hate. Do we? The only thing is, do we have any Blaze Rods? Um... I guess it would help if I spelled it right. 270. I'm going to clear that. Uh, a little bit more. Is there any way we can dupe these? Uses. Not really. This is a lot of ender bags. Okay, so we can't really do anything with the blaze rod. And there is rod or um, blaze powder. Even if we can't fill the tank, I would like for it to have a little bit in there. Uh, recipe. Oh, you can actually make it. Wow. So you can make... Um, a fluid transposer with destabilized redstone and glowstone dust. That works to our advantage. We can do that. Okay, let's grab a magma crucible. Magma. Grab one of these. And we're going to grab a fluid transposer as well. Good deal. We've got cable. We've got imports and outputs. Um... Import. Okay, where should we put this? 
we should probably put it underneath of the redstone tank. The redstone tank will always be full because we have too much redstone. Um, if that's such a thing. Is this, uh, no, that's this. That's that. Okay, so we want to, um, good deal. We want it to be orange, though. And we want that to go into the, why did I grab a magma crucible for? We want it to go into the fluid transposer right there. And we'll make that blue. Or is it orange? Uh, the outputting side should be... Hold on. I'm doing this wrong. And I know I am. Okay. So let's see. We've got output that's blue. Output should be orange, though. And it's I I suck at doing these these uh things. So that should be blue. It's still not loading. No. No. I know import is blue. I know that much. Nope. Nope. Oh. This is where this is where Jevin's like Derp City USA. It won't go in there. I wonder if it's because it doesn't have power. Oh, well, let's give it some power here. Okay, now it's got power. I can't believe I'm making this mistake. It's been a while since I've used one of these. Okay, I'm gonna uh, turn the rest of these off. I'll be back in just a second. Three, two, one. Okay, so I was thinking about the setup here, and we probably actually shouldn't even put it next to it. It should probably be, if anything, under it, I think. Um, no, that, that won't work. Maybe if we put it in the ground. Let's put it, let's put it right there. Okay. So we need our export bus here. No. And we want that to move stacks. Uh, I've got to go grab a piece of glowstone. Okay. Because we've got 12 mil glow. We're good to go. Okay. Um, here. So we'll have this input glowstone and we'll make that blue. So now we've got our glowstone in there. So now all we gotta do is um, get the redstone into here, which I think what we'll do is we'll just use a fluid duct probably. Let's grab some of that. Let's see. I kind of forgot that I had to uh, put other stuff into that thing while I was sitting next to it. I'm like, I should probably actually redo this. Uh, okay, so here, here, we want this to um, output. It probably will need to be set on orange and it'll probably need a servo. Why do I keep going to the middle one for? There we go. And why is it not outputting for? Maybe I need to change. Oh, you know what? I think I need to change that. Maybe not. I have no idea what I'm doing. It will not. Here, you know what we're going to do? What? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to change this all around because I am having issues. Um, we're going to not shoot blow up balls at each other. I'm going to steal you. I'm going to break you. I'm going down there to get my stuff back. 
Thank you. We're just gonna use this one. I don't see why we didn't do that in the first place. I'm kind of stupid today, aren't I, guys? Um, so what we'll do is we'll just put an export bus right here. It's already got glowstone in it. And I don't think it's gonna be a, a gonna let it go in though. Oh, maybe it will. Good deal. So yeah, instead of making that whole big process about doing that, we'll just do this right here. Um, since it's next to an interface, it should output, but we have to figure out what output side it is. Um, should be that. I don't know. I've never messed with the outputs as that like that before. Um, I did forget about the redstone energy cells in conduit, though, I'll be honest with you. We might just have to make another one down here. Um, I need to see what's on this back side here. So it's blue right now. Orange. Was it actually... Yeah, it's sleeping now. Um, my only concern now would be if... What if I have to order one of these? But other than that... Okay, so that's going to make the blaze powder that we need. Um for the tanks and then so um we want pyrothium there so we need to make blaze powder sulfur uh cold dust and redstone do we how much cold dust do we have we have a thousand cold dust uh what about sulfur Ooh, that could be a problem. We do have the sulfur ore, though. What's this do? Uses. Oh, so you pulverize that, and that makes six sulfur. We're good, then. Pulverizer. Okay, so that makes plenty of sulfur for us. Um, we need to... Pulverize some coal. I can't forget about this, though. If I forget about it, it'll be bad. I don't want to pulverize all of my coal. So, <laughs> that would suck. Um, I guess if I really, like, wanted to, I could just put a level emitter above it. Uh, level. Good deal. I've never actually used a level emitter like this before, so... Uh, we'll see if this actually works. There we go. And we want this to be configured with coal. First off, we need to know how much coal we actually have. We have over a million coal. Let's do 157,000. So we'll limit our coal usage to 1 million. Um, there we go. So what we're saying is emit one levels are above 1 million. We've got coal in here. So I'm going to take that out. Yeah, that should work just fine. Um, always active. Active with signal. Uh, we want active with signal. These ores aren't that important to us. So say if we were to change this to like 2 million... Why won't it let me type a 2? the heck? <laughs> Say, what the heck? Okay, or 2, yeah, 2 million. Um, and place the stuff down the wrong way, of course, naturally. And just break everything all at once, naturally. Um, you see how it's not working? But if we have it at 1 million... 1. Let me type a 1. Three, one, two, three. It's gonna be not working. Why is it not working? I broke it. Oh, the uh, things reconfigured on me. There we go. Okay, so that's good to go. Um, so we've got everything we need to make this stuff working very hard for us now. So now we just need to configure all of this to make this. Um, I wonder what the best way to do that would be. We also need to go down to that end tank and put a magma crucible there. So, unless I have one, I have one on me. Okay, let's go down there. 
Can I go up, please? Please and thank you. Hello? What the heck? <laughs> it won't let me go up. I guess maybe I don't have uh, an up there. Really? Psh, I'm breaking a hole through the floor. I need to get elevators here pronto. Oh, it goes up through the wall. Okay. So we're going to be down here. What's here already? Oh, there's already a magma crucible here. Uh, we just want to put... Um, so we're going to need an import bus and a little bit of that chirothium to start off with. Pyrothium. We have 114... Um, Okay, we, we don't have it auto-crafting. I want to craft as many as I can. Holy crap. We have a lot of this stuff. So this is missing blaze powder. Um, there we go. Let's go back up. Well, one tank is going to be full. Good deal. Oh, I forgot my export bus. Silly Jevin. Exports. Say, so do we not have a precision export bus laying around? Okay, uh, so we'll throw this export bus on there. And we want to change this to stacks. Blue. And that should start going into the tank. Good deal. Now, the only thing that worries me is, I like, I wonder how much it's actually going to take to fill that tank up. Um, this stuff looks cool as heck, though. Looks like liquid fire. Good deal. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so now what do we need to make the uh, Chirothium, the blue stuff? Ted Blue. So we need saltpeter, redstone, snowballs, and blizz powder. We have 4,000 snowballs. That's a good start. Saltpeter. I have 67k saltpeter. We've got redstone and we need blizz powder. Um, I say we just make the blizz powder. Because that, that'll be easier. The redstone's going to take a huge hit, but... Looks like it's just filling up right away, though. Um, let's grab a, a valve. There we go. And what do we need to put in there to make that? Need to put snowballs in there. Snow... And that might be it for now. We'll see. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a valve right there. Wouldn't it suck if we lost all that? <laughs> that would... I would be so mad. Dude, you have no idea. Um, here we go. And... Oh, we forgot an import bus. Stupid Jevin. Or export, I should say. We want this one. Good deal. We'll have to get... Um, we have an ME cable, don't we? Yeah. We'll have to import it back into the system since it's not directly touching it. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the bottom. We're not going to put that in there because that's the wrong item. This also needs to have power. Which we'll do like this. There we go. So it has power. And the only thing we need to do now is we need to import snowballs. Um, and make the bottom blue. There we go. 16 snowballs and we're making blizz powder. And so now what we need to do is, is this right here. Move stacks at a time. 
Um, oh, I don't remember what color it was back there. I'm going to turn this one off and turn this one off as well. We'll leave that orange. There we go. So now we've got the blizz powder going into the system. And I should probably set up some cyclic assemblers for these. Just like behind a wall somewhere. Uh, the only problem with that is, like once the tank gets full, we don't really need them. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> Woo! We made a ton there, guys. Watch out. Okay, so we'll put that down. We're going to need another export bus. Take that. We've got the cable. We've got a magma crucible. There might even be one over there already. Go up. And you. None of those. And you. Good deal. Awesome. So now our tanks are finally getting used. Thank God. Um, let's go down and take a look at them. Refill our hole back in. Definitely getting there. I'd like to get these filled up. Okay. Let's check on our gold, guys. 347k. We have gained 50, almost, or no, about 30,000. Let's check on our Mimic Ore. 37,000. We've used 100k this video so far. Wowzers, Batman. Okay. How much redstone do we have? Not a lot. I am using that redstone quick. Is this thing full? What is our level admitter? Hmm. See, I would love for these tanks to get full. It's gonna take a lot though. Okay, well, I'll just let those run for a while. Okay, guys, so we need to go ahead and process through the rest of our Mimikite ore because we're using it very fast. Um, right now, we're still producing gold. Still going pretty cool. We're at 350k, but we're uh, we're really running out of it quickly. So we're going to go ahead and start processing this stuff. Um, I'm not going to set up a super fast like machine here. I just wanted to process. Um, this stuff makes a lot of liquid XP, and liquid XP is a pain in the butt to control, so we're just going to void it because our tank is already full. Um, so we're going to take a fluid void pipe, and we're going to also grab a hoppa. Da hoppa. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll probably just place this, like, right here. So, breaker. Um, let's do the autonomous activator right here. Um... We want this to, hold on, we want this to right click, okay, and we want this to be configured on high, so we can just put this here, that's it, yeah, same with this one, make these annoying, um, and then we need some ME cable, it should process through this rather quickly as well. It's, it's so laggy. Oh, goodness. Um, oh. Steal that back. I'm going to remove these for a second because... Well, I tend to not want to lag, so... Um, we're going to need an import or an export bus. Wow, I can't believe we used all of our precision export buses. We're going to need an import bus. And we're going to need a chest. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll have this break and go into there. Then we will import whatever's in there into the system. Uh, once per pulse. And then we'll have that go into there. And... Mimic. Wow, I can't believe we went through that much Mimic Ore already. That's insane. So we'll just put that. So that should be filling up. 
or not. Good deal. And the only thing left to do is to put the clocks down. We'll need to put the vacuum hopper down. Good deal. Let me say it's that side. Yeah. And I like I said, I just want that to avoid because our tank is already full. The other one right here. I don't know where to put it. Um, didn't really leave myself room, did I? Vacuum Hopper Plus. Stop it. Uh, I guess we'll just put it right here. Fine, I'll remove you then, you jerk. Let me just grab a block real fast. I'll fix that later on once this is finished. Okay, so that'll break that pretty quickly, void all of the XP. Uh, even though we're still getting it. Should just go into there. Oh, did I put that on the wrong setting? There we go. Alright, so that'll process through that really quickly. I'll be back once that's finished, guys. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for today's FDB video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to tap that like button, guys. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter. I'll put an annotation on the screen for you. That's pretty much where, uh, if I have any sort of announcements, you can uh, pretty much find me there. Uh, pretty easy thing to do. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys all have a good one. This is iJevin. Peace out.